And in addition to that, though, we do have other export options to go to different softwares. The EDL, AF, and XML option will take you to Final Cut Pro, Avid, or Premiere. And um, there are different ways that it works in different scenarios. So in the case of Final Cut, and this works with Final Cut um, before Final Cut X, Final Cut X works differently. Um, so we don't have the support for Final Cut X. But with the previous versions of Final Cut, you can um, have all of the separated image files as different layers that you can work with and you have the camera room so you can make adjustments on everything. If you're going to Premiere, then you have exported movie files. And I actually do have another uh, project of mine. Um, it's from the Key project. It's going to become some demo materials that we'll use here at Toon Boom. Um, this is a 2D, 3D mix project. But I have a working edit of that one in Premiere, so I'm just going to open up Premiere and take a look at that project with you guys so you can see um, what the Premiere export looks like from Storyboard Pro and how you work with it from then on out. Because this whole aspect of pipeline is not just about um, you know what you're doing in Storyboard Pro, but it's about what are you going to do next. So there's two things that you're going to do next. One thing is you're going to get started on, on a, a working edit, and then the second thing is you're going to go back and do some animation, or you're going to go out and and shoot some film if you're doing it in live action. So for the first working edit, in this in the case of Premiere here, we have um, exported movie files. So let's just turn off my other uh, video tracks because I've got a lot of video tracks in there that I'm working with because I'm debugging how I can do this particle fire here. Um, but see, I have a whole bunch of different movie files and all of these movie files are exported directly from Storyboard Pro. So um, let me just turn off the sound for a second there because I have um, some sound scrubbing going on there. So all of these Storyboard Pro files, they export out as separate movies into um, Premiere, and it also brings the audio down there as well. So then what you can do is as you're working, you can add a second video track, and you can lay on top of it the final versions of those scenes so that you always have an up-to-date version that has the latest information in it. Now, in the case of something like my particle fire here, uh, we had some drawn fire at the beginning, and then we decided we wanted to replace that with particle fire. So now I'm going in, and I'm trying out different options and different ways of doing the particle fire to see what I like the best. And then at the end, we're hopefully going to have a really nice-looking particle fire. So it's just a matter of um, trying some things out to see what works best. And so that's basically the way that the working edit works. You're, you're always going to have one version of your file that will be the most latest and up-to-date version. Even if you're just a home user who's working on your own project, this project here, the key, this project is only one minute long. It's one minute and ten seconds long, but it has 46 scenes in it. In other words, 46 different camera moves. So even in a short project, even if it's a webisode or you know something that you're doing from home, it can it can really um, very quickly get complex if you don't plan things appropriately. So planning things first in Storyboard Pro is going to make your life so much easier because now you have everything laid out. You know exactly what you need to do. All you have to do is open up your scene files in Harmony or you know Animator Anime Pro and get started on the animation. And then you can bring everything together in your edit suite to check out what it looks like. You don't have to use something as complex as Premiere. You could even use something as simple as QuickTime Pro. Um, but it's up to you on what you'd like to use to actually do the, the editing. I just happen to like Premiere because it's um, already on my machine. So let's go back to Storyboard Pro now, and we'll finish up with the last export options that we want to look at, um, which are CSV, Toon Boom, and, and FBX. So let's look at this CSV for a second here because... The CSV is something that I was kind of alluding to in one of the earlier tips that I did on Storyboard Pro uh, when I was talking about naming the panels or naming the layers appropriately. And I was saying that because when you name things the right way, you can keep track of that information when you go into the next stage in the pipeline. So in your, um, in your exported CSV here, you've got the name of the scene, the name of the panel, how many frames are in the scene, how many frames are in the panel, all of the captions with the content of the captions, and here's the really exciting one, all of the layers with all of the content of the layers. 
So it gives you your first pass at what you need to do for your uh, production management in the case of a studio. In the case of an individual, it's just a really nice guide that you can have to work with. And some people who are on smaller projects will track their projects through Excel. They'll have an Excel spreadsheet that they can say what stage it's in, whether it's um, completed or if it's in progress. So you can go directly from here to that. And if you're going to work with a management software like Toon Boom Manager, then this um, export information also goes directly to Manager. So lastly, you're, if you're doing animation, you might be doing live action, but if you're doing animation, then if you're doing animation in 2D, you can export to Toon Boom and it will create um, one project for each scene file in your storyboard scene and it's going to name it the same as it will name it in your storyboard file. So you can go from here to Animate or Animate Pro. If you're using Harmony, you just need to make sure that you have the consulting license installed for Storyboard Pro. And if you don't know what that is, then you can just go ahead and contact Toon Boom. But basically, if you have the consulting license, it gives you the export to Harmony option. And um, Harmony Offline is for those of you who are using Harmony Standalone. And then if you're working in a studio, you can go to the database. And so database is going to create a database for you. And then um, the Harmony version is down here at the bottom. We don't have Harmony 10 yet as an option from here, even though Harmony 10 has been released because um, you know, Storyboard Pro doesn't have a new version since Harmony 10 came out. But you can always export to Harmony 9.2, and these files can be opened and saved in Harmony 10 if you're using Harmony 10. So the same or similar thing can be used if you're going to 3D. So you can export to FBX, and we'll create one FBX file for each scene file in your Storyboard project. And um, so this is a Storyboard 3D only option. It's not in Storyboard Pro 2D. But the um, FBX option I've described in a bit more detail also when I did the storyboarding tip on storyboarding a 3D space. Um, because the thing about this one is that if you have 3D models in your scene or if you have 3D scene planning, it will export that as well. But even if you have just a plain 2D storyboard, you can export to FBX and it will give your uh, you the option to have um, the image files in your 3D scene with the sound attached to it. So it still gives you a working edit to work off of. Um, so that's really it for um, Storyboard Pro and the export options. So this is why it's a full pipeline solution because everything that you do in Storyboard Pro you can use in the next stage in the pipeline. And this is extremely powerful if you think about it because what you can do here is you can really save time and effort and even if you're working on an individual project as you can see with that one minute project one minute is fifty scenes pretty much it's a lot of work um, so organizing your work is going to help you to do it faster and more effectively but also if you're working in a studio or you're working in a group and you have multiple people working on a project then you can have the entire team working together on the project and from storyboarding all the way through to animation or live action or whatever else it is that you're working on. So that's it for my little intro to Storyboard Pro and hopefully you can see some of the reasons why it won an Emmy because um, of the wonderful added value that it brings to your productions. Um, so then we'll take a, a new subject next week uh, thinking of possibly a, uh, talking about particles but we'll see what we get to. So. Hope you enjoyed that, and I'll see you guys next week. Take care.